up here we have another HP memory. Those are always good to have. Hmm. I can at least get rid of one of you. Blasted spooky viruses. Such spazzes. I'll just let Roll finish you off. And there we go. We get Zenny. Since we have Yai's code, we can now unlock the security cube in the way here. May as well see what this net merchant has while we're here. Hmm. Well, I can at least afford an HP memory. Oh, and another one. Seems like a good deal to me. With that, we're done checking out things in here. Because while this does have a jack in port, it is currently filled with dust, so we can't get in. So, let's see what's going on over at Dex's place. We can check out his totally not a Game Boy Advance. It has a mini bomb asterisk. Operating game software is our job. It's hard work, but I enjoy it. It lets me talk to lots of programs. Well, that's nice then. Anything else in here? No, no, no. Oh dear, this is rather problematic. The areas of the game system seem to start with holes. And that is trouble. At least get rid of one of you. If I could get a nice wide sword, that would be good. No, oh, you just couldn't help me out there, could you? Oh, let's do. Let's let Roll do some more damage. She's cute. She can have screen time. I won't complain about that. And there, you go squish now. Wow, after all that, we still get a dash attack? Okay. <laughs> I won't complain. <laughs> Seems odd, but I won't complain. Now we can talk to Dex. He's been waiting for us. He wants a battle with Gutsman. Alright, let's go for it. Hey there, Gutsman. Gutsman is pretty much the same as ever. Good news for us, bad news for him. It means we can still employ the same strategy as we used against him last time. Come on. Have a shockwave. He still does not have his little rocket punch, so we can be thankful for that anyway. There we go. With that, we get a Gutsman chip. You gotta be kidding me, not bad. With that, we have the Dex code so we can unlock his terminal also. And we can also go ahead and put Gutsman in the folder. Let's see, yeah, he can go here.
So let's see what you've got on your system. A very bizarre background. And all the canadums you could ever hope to see. Okay. So we find a gut punch B and 800 zenny. And we can unlock the terminal. This gives us a bit of a shortcut to the square, actually. With that, just one last destination to check out. We can have a look in the doghouse. As you may know, I'm a guard dog-like security program. I protect the Hikari family every single day. Well, you certainly weren't barking at Arashi while he was there. While we can go over to Mail's house, I don't think there's actually anything for us to do over there yet. Time to demonstrate something about Gutsman. He no longer goes right up to the enemy side of the field. That being said, he can crack your panels if you're not careful. So, do be wary of that. And we get another dash attack. Dash attack G. And a full energy subchip. It's kind of like small energy, except it gives you a full health recovery. Everybody get in line. There we go. And another dash attack. And that seems to be it. And we've got mail. There's been a reported explosion at the Metro Lines Marine Street Station. Or Marine Station, maybe that's it. Apparently it was a small bomb, causing only minor damage. No injuries have yet been reported. And actually, that's kind of true. Arashi does show up again alive and well in Battleship Challenge. Seemingly angry at pretty much everyone. So with that, that's pretty much it for Day 1. Thank you very much for watching. Join me next time as we begin Day 2. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. After the break I took, I got a bit of a fan art backlog, so let's try and get through a bit of this. First off, this came in from Death Harbinger Anubis. It seems the Navi forms of Quickman and Freeze Man are ready for a rematch. Well, so am I. Let's do this! I also got in some new sprite comics, such as this one from Fire Climbers, detailing the true menace of Hornet Man's stage. And dear gods, it multiplies! Ah! And also this one, sent in by Mega Beta Man, detailing my quest for shinies. A special note, the Roam sprite in this comic was originally made by GameGeek93. I also got new sprite comics in from G and Watch, detailing such things as the state of affairs in Mother Russia. Toad Man finding a new love interest. and the ongoing search for just who Mega Man 9's equivalent of Phantom was. Could a rearranged soundtrack really hold the answer? Could Fireman really be Naruto? Yes, G and Watch always sends fun fan art. <coughs> Invisible Coin Block helpfully answered the question of why Fake Man was arresting me. Oh, where's Phoenix Wright Man when you need him? 
Not exactly fan art per se, but apparently I was randomly a recapture password for Hoops and Yo-Yo Fan 26. Nice. And last but certainly not least, Raiden sent in this amazingly detailed concept for Crystal Man EXE, even using my pendant as an insignia. Very nice, I would definitely use him. So with that, that actually leads me to a bit of a fan art request. After all, we now know all eight robot masters for Mega Man 10. I'd be interested in seeing some of them made into navvies. So if anyone wants to give any of them a try, please feel free to send that in. With that, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.